mid diving and this is gonna be fun! Okay guys, it's me again, Poppy. I'm here in Street Market, Boracay. The only and first and only um, food park here in Boracay. I just got back from uh, helmet diving or reef walking. I got a good photo of Nemo and that gave me an appetite. So. I'm actually tr gonna try a few items from all the restaurants here and this time I will be having it with my mom she won't come on camera because she doesn't like to be on camera okay sorry for the messy hair this the salt water and the chlorine doesn't work my the hair gel doesn't work <laughs> but still I'm gonna have my meal with my mom and hopefully I'll give you the review afterwards so yeah Okay guys, um, my or assortment of orders have arrived and believe it or not, I'm not going to finish all of this. Actually, my mom has already started eating and here's what they are. We got a porchetta pizza. I got myself a stick of chicken yakitori skin. Chicken wings, deep fried chicken wings. This is their cereal salt and pepper pork. Their pan seared mahi mahi. And I got myself a burrito. Okay, it's basically rice stuffed with, what do you call this? Um, carnitas. Okay, so I'll continue with this and 
I'll give you the review afterwards. Okay guys, we will start off with the yakitori. This is chicken skin yakitori. Best first bite of the meal. Okay. Nice and fatty. A bit greasy. But awesomely good because it's chicken skin. Can never go wrong with chicken skin. There's a nice sweet glaze to it that actually accenting the flavor of the chicken. There's also a slight soy sauce taste to it too. Really good. Okay. Sorry for the short review. I'll move on to the next dish. Okay guys, for our first formal bite, we're having porchetta pizza. We cut a piece of the crust. Oh, before that, look at the bottom. Nice and charred. You know that it's cooked in a brick oven. And it has a nice texture to it. I think this is going to be somewhat as good as Albert's. We will see. So smear that garlic, roasted garlic in there. Oh yeah. How about first bite? That crust is nice and chewy. The tomato sauce is not overpowering, but it has a nice garlic taste to it, which I love. Okay, we'll go for a second bite, but this time we'll get a piece of the porchetta, which is under here. Right? One big bite guys, one big bite. That pizza is packed with porky flavor. With that addition of that garlic. Mind, blow mind blowingly good. The texture of the dough, the crust, and the top it with that basil leaf. Really good. Okay, so I'll move on to my next dish, which is the cereal pork. No, it's cereal, salt, and pepper pork. Okay, guys. This is the cereal, salt and pepper pork. I don't know if this has bones or it's boneless. Hopefully it's boneless. Look at that. Pork is cooked through and through. Still juicy. With that crunchy cereal outside. It looks like it's gonna be a textual masterpiece. Okay. Mm. Cereal has a sugar sweetness to it that actually it helps boosting the flavor of the pork. It's super crispy, but it's not as spicy. I thought it was going to be like chili spice, but it's not. In this order comes with rice, but I'm not. I'm gonna skip the rice because I'm having a burrito afterwards. We'll go for a second bite. It has a nice balance of sweet, salty, 
A bit of pepper. A very succulent pork. Okay. So I'll finish this. And then I'll move on to chicken wings. I'll save the burrito for last. Yeah. Okay guys, oh, there's a smudge on my screen there. Here's the chicken wings. Okay. We'll try a bit of the breast meat or the white meat. Mm. Still juicy. Not right out. I will try a bit of that darker meat with some skin. Because the best part of chicken wings has got to be the skin. Any fried chicken, the best part is the skin. Super crunchy, juicy meat, perfectly seasoned. But I do believe they gave me some gravy. Get some gravy. Mm -hmm. Chicken skin, bit of that gravy. Ooh For that chicken skin with gravy. Mm. <laughs> Even though it's smothered in that gravy, it still had a certain crunch to it, and that it added a bit of more fat and a bit of spice to it and basically it access the chicken really well okay so I'll move on to my last dish which is the burrito the mahi mahi I ordered was not actually for me it's for my mom so I just basically left it for her and according to her it's delicious so <laughs> I'll take her word for it okay guys here's my last dish for the meal this is my carnitas burrito. It comes with some tortilla chips on the side. Carnitas is basically oh sorry. Carnitas is basically slow cooked pork in its own fat till it's fully rendered and super tender. They took it to the next level and used that inside the burrito. Burrito is basically rice and salsa and carnitas. So we'll start with the tortilla first. The tortilla is, is perfectly seasoned. Just a hint of salt and a bit buttery. Okay. There's no easy way of eating this but taking it by hand and taking a bite. Oh, that is nicely cooked all the way through. Oh it's heavy. Ah. Look at that guys. It's meaty. Really filling. Heavy is a brick, but look at that. It has so much meat and so much rice. This is actually going to fill me up really well. I haven't eaten lunch. I only had breakfast, and this is a perfect way to end this meal.
It has a certain spice to it. That carnitas is super tender. But the salsa has a bite. Ooh. Okay. So I will finish my meal with my mom. Whatever we couldn't finish, we'll take home to my friends in the resort. And then we'll try to look for dessert here afterwards. So yeah. Okay guys, here's my review of Street Market Boracay. Well, we'll base it on the five criteria. Location, ambiance, service, food, and price. Okay, let's we'll start with location. Location-wise, if you're if you're staying in Boracay, it's easy accessible via main the main road. You just have to look for Station X. It's just beside it. Then, so with that in mind, I have to give him a 4 out of 5. Now, let's talk about ambiance. The ambiance is great. I'll take a panning video of everything afterwards. You need to see this. It's ultra modern. It's not air conditioned since we're on the island, anyways. It's okay. But the, um, the ambiance of the place looks awesome. The only downside for me is some of the tables have. It's like picnic tables wherein you cannot move your seat and that means barely on the table. Okay? So with that in mind I have to give him a 4 out of 5. Now service, Ate, the one serving us was super helpful. We didn't know anything, she approached us, she told us you can actually order from her and she'll bring all the food from all the stalls that you ordered from. See? And then everything we needed, extra ice, extra soft drinks, extra this, extra that. She was eagerly helping us with everything. Even though there are a lot of guests around, she was very attentive. Okay? That in mind, I'm, giving, give, I'm gonna give Ate herself 5 out of 5 points. Okay? Now, let's talk about the food. That burrito floored me. That's the only dish I finished in everything the porchetta pizza was heavenly the chicken wings was was okay it's delicious but I've had better but that pork it was so good it's just I'm sweating right now because of that burrito but the, it's it was mind-boggling good okay so with that in mind, I have to give him a 4 out of 5 on the food. Finally, price. Everything we ordered here was a little bit over 2,000 pesos. It was a lot. And the portions were huge. And with that in mind, I have to say it was worth it. I have to give him a 4 out of 5. For the price now will I come back here if I'm back on the island yes I'll certainly come back here the ambiance alone is gorgeous modern hip and it's <laughs> this is rare my mom says it's cool but as I said thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe I, I had my I had a great time here in Boracay this summer I uh, this this undas or this Halloween season I won again in epic I did my reef reef walking got to see Nemo did eat Nemo but <laughs> everything else is heavenly so I'll be going back to Manila tomorrow and thank you for watching the vlog Follow me on Instagram at Paul Always Gutom, Never Busog. On Twitter at Paul Always Gutom. And on Facebook at Always Gutom, Never Busog.
So till next vlog, see you in the dining room. Tara, kain tayo.